Tiny House followers, uh, just wanted to give you an update again. Uh, today we had our first um, walkthrough with the uh, town code inspector and the fire department. Um, we did fail both. <laughs> And uh, the reason why is, as far as the fire department goes, is there is not a shutoff switch uh, installed on our propane unit that we have down here on the first floor. Um, that does have to be exposed uh, in order for it to be uh, permitted properly. So that is why we failed that, um, which is actually an easy fix. Uh, we'll just have our, our propane company come out and, uh, and do that for us so that it's to code. And then the building code enforcer, uh, who we've worked pretty closely with on this project, um, you know, said we did very well overall. Uh, there is one window upstairs here um, that is giving us the issue. So we are 200 inches um, too small on our egress window upstairs. Um, and because that is a uh, to code bedroom uh, it does have to have that large size window so this is um, another one of the roadblocks of building a tiny house to code is uh, there's some really wacky things with the codes um, in such a small space and, and for us that that does obviously seem a bit ridiculous to have a huge window up there um, in order to uh, escape when you know the space is under 400 square feet now so um, you know, that's something you're going to deal with if you build a tiny house to code and it is something we're going to have to adjust. So we have a temporary permit for now, which is good. Um, you know, we're going in the right direction. He will come back out and sign off on our occupancy permit um, once that window is addressed. Um, it is January here <laughs> in New Hampshire, so it's been very cold. Um, this week especially has been very cold, uh, you know, we get up to 10 degrees, 15 degrees during the day. Um, so replacing that window this time of year is going to be a, a cold, fun project. Uh, you can see here behind me the stairs have been pretty much finished. Uh, we did our own copper rails there and uh, our massive refrigerator here, which we thought we did such a good job ordering, um, <laughs> but essentially the depth is, is way too wide. Um, and with our stair overhang here uh, in the hallway into the kitchen, it's, it's, it doesn't work. So uh, we're going to be finding a home for this fridge and getting a smaller one, keeping the um, counter depth in mind this time. <laughs> so uh, thanks for checking in. And I am going to be updating the, I finally got all my tallying done of what this costs to do. And I want to share that all broken down with you. So I'm hoping that will be done in the next day or two. All right, thanks for checking in again. Everybody stay warm.